What's good, Pulse fam? You already know who it is. First shout out to Universe Media who answered this question on one of the videos. And his question was, why is it that no one explains Prism's installation or its usage? So I said, you know what? I got you, fam. Don't worry about it. And in this video, we're going to do just that. Stay tuned. So as you see, we already got Render uh, Audio's website up. If you guys don't know, look at this uh, link right here. And once you go to this link, it will bring you to this page. And uh, definitely shout out to my fam out in Render Audio who basically have some things lined up for this year. Uh, but one of the things that they have on their website is called Prisms 3. What Prisms 3 is, it is a chord uh, suite, the chord progression suite, or as they call it, expiration suite. And what it does is it gives you the opportunity to put chord progressions inside of ripcord and also scalar as well today we're going to be going through ripcord um but the way that you do it is once you purchase it you know you add it to your cart and once you add it to your cart you go and download it and once you download it you just select edition you can select either scalar or ripcord's edition but i selected for ripcord and once you download it it comes as a zip file you go and then open your zip file and download it and the next section that we're going to be doing is actually doing the instant installation of prisms 3 now it doesn't matter for what daw that you have this goes for any daw so just make sure that you guys understand i have cubase but this setup basically goes for any daw if you guys need any other explanations for any daws definitely hit me up and we can uh, get the information for you for that uh, but the way that we get ripcord into uh cubase is that you go you add first an instance of whatever sound that you want so in this case i'm going to add contact and once i add contact we're going to go and let's just pick a you know standard sound i'm going to pick the uh, cordia just a piano really nice all right so the next instance up that we do is we bring up ripcord and that's going to be under generator and then you add that now of course if you guys haven't seen the installation videos for ripcord make sure that you look at this video right here and it'll go through the whole entire step of how to do this but now we're going to bring up the setup installation for ripcord and the way that you do that is in cubase you go and go to contact you go under uh midi for ripcord as a midi out you click on the ripcord and then you click the monitor button so that you can hear the sound coming out if you don't hit the monitor button you will not hear anything come out of ripcord now once you have that then you go and click on the instrument so once you click on the instrument that lets you know that you have sound so now what we want to do is we want to show the installation of how to put in for prisms and this actually goes for any midi any uh of the uh render audios uh information that you guys might have got from the site whether it's prisms one two three or even the dark void uh series that they have you go to the cog wheel on ripcord and you import a preset file so because i have a preset file already ready again make sure that you go and get prisms 3 uh zip unzipped and once you get it unzipped it looks like this and then you're gonna have ripcord's uh, addition you click into the core bank and then you import all of these files like this so you just highlight them once you highlight them you click open right there and what comes up in presets is that you go to presets and now you have the instance of all those that you have saved in the case of uh I have all of the uh, actual packs for prisms, three, one, two, and three. Um, but for the sake of this video, let's just say that I went and got prisms three, and we're just gonna pick a random. So now you have the presets for that. And also don't forget, you can also go and edit any of these presets, even while you're playing, you can strum them. Now, for any MIDI that you guys might want to put in, uh, the way that you do your MIDI is that you go back and you import MIDI files and wherever you have your MIDI placed, that's where you import that as well. If you guys want to find a name preset, you can type it in here and you see it'll bring up those presets underneath that name. Uh, if you've saved any favorites, you can go to favorites and it will pop up here. So let's just actually take out this. And this is a favorite that I've already saved. Now, the way that you save a favorite is that you go and you just highlight with a star. If you guys like this video, please make sure that you subscribe and you like this video. Also, don't forget to hit a like and a notification so that every time we have a video of information, tutorials, or whatever, you guys will be the first to always get that information. So without any further ado, you already know who it is. It's your boy Thesis. Peace.